Welcome to Trixbox 2.2. Today we're going to show you all of the new features that are going to be in release 2.2 due out shortly. Of course we're still built on asterisk with the current version being asterisk 1.2.17 which provides incredible stability and flexibility. We have enhanced hardware support now supporting Digium cards, Rhino cards, Sangoma cards, and Pika support will be coming soon, hopefully before the final release. In user mode, we have a new look with a cleaner interface. We'll be showing you that in just a moment. In administration mode, we have a new system status page where you can see the health and status of your system at a glance. An optional registration system is now in place. If you register your system, not only does it allow us to support uh, a tracking mechanism so we can follow the health of your machine throughout its course, you also get a 5% discount in our new Trixbox store. Our enhanced endpoint manager provides support for all major phone brands including Astra, Polycom, Linksys, Grandstream, SNOM, and Cisco. And we have new CDR reports with click to listen for recorded calls. We also have new service provider modules with more coming on soon. We have Teleax and VoIP Street already and we hope to have Allo and some others before we uh, launch 2.2. There's also a new network configuration tool to set your DHCP and IP settings for each network card you have. And we now have multiple repositories with a stable, a beta, and development branch. So you can you know, really play with bleeding edge technologies or stick with the stuff that's really stable. This is the new Trixbox 2.2 interface. As you can see, it's cleaned up quite a bit. And we've got you know, all the same things that we had before. We have the asterisk recording interface, the meet me rooms, the flash operator panel, and sugar CRM. But what's really neat is when we switch over to the admin mode and we see the new system status page. Now, the first time you go into this, you're going to see this Trixbox registration. This is optional. You can close this and uh, register your system later on at any time. But if you do register, you do get a 5% discount in the store if you use the same email address that you registered with as the email address you use in the store. So we'll just go ahead and put this away right now so you can see the administration screen. We have the server status of all the different services that are important to us, some helpful links if you need to get some help, network utilization, memory usage, our mounted file systems, our system uptime, active channels, registrations, and our peers. So really at a glance we can see if we've got phones that are offline that shouldn't be, if our registrations aren't working right, you know, what our uptime is. So we get a really good, you know, at a glance look at what's going on with our system. We still have the package manager, so that allows us to install and update packages, uh, update asterisk and things like that. Under our asterisk menu, we have free PBX where we configure all the PBX functionalities, the config editor to manage the config files if we need to edit those directly, some advanced asterisk information if we want to see more in depth the things that are going on versus the stuff we have right here on the screen. Our endpoint manager, which now supports Polycom and Linksys phones as well as what we had before, which was Cisco, Grandstream, Polycom, and SNOM. We have our new call data reports. This is, gives you some enhanced functionality with quickly being able to do a start and end time and then be able to click to dial if you want to listen to a recorded call. We also have some new setup wizards for companies like VoIP Street and Teleax to very make, make it really easy to set up those accounts. Under our system menu, we still have things like PHP MyAdmin, our system information, system maintenance, where we can start and stop services, you know, reboot the system if we want to. And we have our SSH terminal. If you don't have a tool like Putty, you can use this to remote console in. And you can optionally install things like Munin to monitor your system. Under settings, we now have our new network configuration tool. This allows us to you know, edit the IP properties of the different cards. We can set these to static or DHCP. We can go here to our network parameters, set our host name, default gateway. Uh, if, you know, if we want real quickly, we want to use OpenDNS as our DNS servers. We can just click on that link and it automatically fills it out for us. In our repositories, we now have our development packages. So if you don't want to be so cutting edge, you can turn those off and only use the stable branches or 
also enable the beta branches. Development stuff, that's really cutting edge, so most people aren't going to want to play with that. And then again, we have our registration module. So if you want to, you can come in here and register your system, or just simply say, don't ask me again, and you won't ever get the other pop-up as well. So as you can see, the Trixbox 2.2 is quite advanced compared to the previous versions, and we look forward to you trying it out and seeing it for yourself. Go to Trixbox.org, download it, and install it, and if you have any questions, go to the new wiki system where you can find advanced documentation. Well, along with Trixbox 2.2, we've launched a new website with a new forge. People can create their own sub-projects. We have a new wiki, so we have lots of new documentation, and a bug tracker, so people can input bugs so we can get to those faster. We've also announced paid support options with hourly, bulk, and yearly maintenance options. And we have our new upcoming Trixbox appliance that we're really excited about. So you'll be able to purchase a box with everything on it ready to go with different cards in it for whatever purpose you may want. It's got a nice four-line LCD display on the front so you can see what's going on with your system, see the IP address and, and uptime and things like that. So we're really excited about that. Well, thank you for listening. For more information, visit http www.trixbox.org.